Josh with West Tennessee Predator Hunting Gear. I wanted to take a quick minute and do a video for you guys that were asking about the tripod setup that I'm currently using. I posted a video last week and I had a lot of comments and questions about what the setup is and what it takes to make it work. So we're going to run through that really quickly. But before we do, I want to take you through what led me to the current tri tripod setup that I have now. When I first started predator hunting, I went with the standard bipod that most people use and this is I believe a 30 inch bipod setup that mounts to the end of your rifle. The problem with this for me was it didn't give me the height that I needed and if I was on the side of a hill it was even worse so I wasn't getting the elevation and I like to sit in a chair so again this just didn't get me where I needed to go. Now I understand there's probably some that will get me pretty close to that now uh, but at the time this was the tallest that I could get and it just wasn't tall enough. The next one that I switched to was this model pod. I think someone got me this for Christmas. So if you did and you're watching this video, thank you. It didn't work, but thank you. Uh, this is a standard, to me, it looks like a, uh, like a hiking model pod. It got me the elevation I needed, but it just wasn't sturdy enough. It, it, it just didn't get me where I needed to do with just one. So it didn't work for very long. After that, I switched to standard shooting sticks. I call them the Jimmy White Specials. A lot of guys out there use them. Mine was made by Hunter Specialty, I believe, and it had a little rubber loop at the top that I could slide my rifle in, and that one worked great for me for a long time. However, it didn't give me the freedom that I wanted. I killed a lot of dogs with it, but not the freedom. And what I meant by that was I wanted to be able to just set my rifle and grab my shotgun if it's a if it's a dog running in hard charging so which led me to go to the Primos trigger sticks these I used for a long time when I started carrying the shotgun and the AR that I was using at the time my first AR would mount in here and sit level which was great however what I found was as I'm carrying a shotgun and I'm trying to set let's leave my gun there unmounted I would knock it over and I would bump it and I would just a, it was a, a cluster for me now some of you guys are probably much smoother than that and I get it however for me it was just too much so I stopped carrying the shotgun and I looked forever at the tripod setups I'd see guys out there post pictures and you know I, I would research it and see the prices of the current tripod setups and it just wasn't in the way it was you know the cost of a gun for me I'm just not going to spend that much money on a tripod to put my gun on. So I researched it and I, I ran across something on eBay that got me to thinking about putting something on here. So I, I, uh, I, I researched it forever and I found that I could take this yoke off, which was really important. And what I could do was adapt it to give me a much more secure setup. So before we go into the how, let me show you what it looks like. Here's my current 6.5 Grendel that I shoot. This right here is a Primos Trigger Stick Gen 2. The cool thing about that, it, they've updated it to where you have a, an adapter that's a quick on-off adapter. So I can actually leave the ball head on here and just quickly pop it in and off, uh, off and on if I want. Uh, or I can just turn the knob and take the uh, the plate off of the ball head and I'll show you what that means here in a second but this is a setup it the cool thing about trigger sticks if you've never seen them you know you, you push the trigger and the legs will auto adjust to the surface at their own so that's the best thing about the trigger sticks in my opinion on unlevel surfaces heels whatever the case may be they'll do what they need to do so how do you get to where we are here so I've already taken the yoke off these this is your standard Gen 1 trigger sticks. You can still get these as well. Um, what you're going to do then is purchase a Pure Gear Camera Ball Head TH3 Pro. You take the ball head, which comes with the camera plate on top, tighten it down here. Then you take the plate and your gun and you mount the plate to the Vortex tripod adapter. This is about 26 bucks on Amazon. So you just take it, screw in with the quick screw here, 
the plate to the vortex adapter. Snug there. And then what you're going to do is just mount this right into the ball head. And you've got the adjustment knob on the front, and you can actually put the adjustment knob in the back. For me, it works best in the front. And then you're there. This right here shows you how easy that is. And again, if I need to go up or down, it just auto adjusts the way I need it to be. You can actually have the ball to where it adjusts this way or adjusts that way for your liking gets you level on any surface. Again, for me, if a, if a hard charging coyote is coming in, I can leave it right there, grab my shotgun, and do what I need to do. So this is the biggest thing for me is the, the sturdiness, the quick adjustabilities, and just let it sit while I take care of what I need to take care of. That's it, guys. The only other thing I'll tell you is you can mount the Vortex tripod adapter directly to the Primos trigger sticks and bypass the ball head. All you do, instead of screwing in the ball head to the, tripod, to the trigger sticks, you take the trigger sticks and screw them directly in here. It doesn't give you as much adjustment, but I initially did that. I didn't have the ball head at first, and I just mounted it right to it. I prefer the ball head, but that will save you $20 if you don't go with the ball head and just mount it directly up to it. So if you're, if you're looking for a setup and you want to get in to a tripod-like setup, a you know, mounted tripod type setup, you can get in this setup for around $126, $123. The Trigger Sticks Gen 2 is $96 on Amazon right now. The adapter is around $26 that you mount to your Picatinny rail. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Otherwise, like. And subscribe we're going to be coming out with additional content in the future including a new unboxing video for for something special that i'm going to be getting in next next week so I'll, i'm excited to share that with you guys thanks for watching thanks for being part of our channel and part of west Tennessee predator hunting on facebook thanks guys